do for you? Well... Or, uh, as I prefer to put it, what can you do for you? Ha, huh? yes. <laughs> or what can we do? Uh, my turn. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help noticing when we met that you seemed, um, happy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. So how do you do that? I don't know, really. Someone once said to me, Sue, you're a bit simple, aren't you? <laughs> I took that as a compliment. Even though it isn't one. Well, I think it is. <laughs> Well, it isn't. Well, I think it is. All right, let's try another way in. I suppose I'm having trouble functioning on a so-called normal level with the other people in the office. Oh, that's horrid. Mm. Oh, you sad sausage. Mm. <laughs> so I, I, I wanted to be reminded how to have a meaningless conversation. Right. So I thought of you. Oh! <laughs> More compliments. <laughs> well... I always think a conversation should be like a game of tennis. I can't believe it's Friday already. Yes, it feels more like Wednesday. Nice return. Validating the other person's comment. Doing anything nice at the weekend? Oh, now, there's a lob. Different rhythm. Now we're having fun. Uh, I've got it. I've got it. Yes, I'm going to clean the car. Then I'm off on a two-day self-harming course in Purley. <laughs> We've still got some way to go, haven't we? Yes, we have. <laughs> Hello, Colin. Hello, Reggie. Feels like Friday. It is Friday. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I have to resign. Afternoon, Reggie. Uh, Chris. You buckling down? Uh, not really, Chris. I, I, I think I need to tender my... <laughs> You're buckling down like mad, Chris. How's the small talk going? I uh, hear the uh, Groom Tech netball team won again. That's too small. Up a notch. OK, yep. Here's your chance. Try and be nice to Colin. Oh. Hi, Colin. Hello, Reggie. Water? Oh, OK. Huh. They've uh, done research into office carpeting. All oh, right. Apparently grey is too soporific and green's too stimulating and purple shows the dirt. Huh. Any news on dark blue? <laughs> Good question. Um, very reliable, as opposed to black, which is very dark. Weekend? No, just uh, looking forward to spending it with my wife. Bloody hell, you've got a wife? <laughs> well, uh, enjoy, Colin. Yeah. Well, good chatting to you, Reggie. Mm. I'm proud of you, Reggie. Welcome back. Oh, heard about your department's new concept razor with a little tank attached. Yes, I'm sorry about cuts that. Cuts while it squirts, while it cuts, while it squirts. Brilliant! Oh. <laughs> I didn't get where I am today without recognising a brilliant new squirt-based concept when I see one. <laughs> Good work, Reggie. <laughs> Jasmine. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Um, the stubble conference in Huddersfield on the 19th, how are you fixed? Yes. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, it's looking good for me. Ah. There are a couple of sessions which will feed nicely into some work we're doing on Tuesday. Oh, good, good, good. Because the keynote speech is going to dovetail quite well with some work we're doing on a, a woman's razor, codenamed Lady Blade. Mm -hmm. Keep that under your hat. <laughs> or keep it under your arm. <laughs> <laughs>
We're also working on, on a razor with a little bottle of lubricant attached to it. Isn't that a bit daft? Thank you, yes. <laughs> you planning to drive up and down both days? Oh, no, that'd be madness. That would be madness, wouldn't it? Madness, yeah. Let's stay in a hotel. Yes, let's stay in a hotel! <laughs> I, I didn't even suggest that, did I? I still like hotels, don't you? Oh, God, yes, I love hotels. <laughs> Sometimes when I get home, I empty everything into little bottles so it still feels like I'm there. <laughs> then all I need is a trouser press and a couple shagging noisily next door. And <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, God, I'm sorry. Would you leave, please? Uh, it's never happened before. <laughs> That's all right, Nelson. Two hundred and seventy minutes late. Various problems. Where have you been? I was worried. Uh, I took a shortcut cross country. Probably a mistake on balance. Left headlamp gored by a rampaging bull outside Epsom. <laughs> Wrong kind of mud in Isha. I had a row with a farmer after I threw the sat nav at a cow. <laughs> God knows where that was. You a really nice supper, oh. and I ate it. Mm. <sighs> Found your briefcase. Oh, well, where was it? In the front garden. <sighs> I think you must have stopped to smell the winter jasmine. Maybe that's the answer. We should all spend more time smelling the flowers. <laughs> I'm so tired. I have a really long line in the morning. Oh, your mother rang. She's popping in for breakfast. will be Welsh funny man Rob Bryden, the beautiful Sophie Dahl, Eurovision hopefuls Andrew Lloyd Webber and Joe Dewan, and we have great music from The Enemy. That's Friday night with Jonathan Ross after the news at 10.35. Over on BBC Two now, fantastic inventions. Uh, maybe. It's genius.